two NASA astronauts are back home in Houston after a historic return to Earth. Their SpaceX Dragon capsule splashed down yesterday in the Gulf of Mexico off the Florida Panhandle. It was the first splash done by U.S. astronauts in 45 years. As Mark Strassman reports, NASA wants to know how sightseers were able to get so close to the spacecraft after splashdown. After 64 days in space, astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley reunited with their family Sunday night. To be where we are now, the first crewed flight of uh, Dragon is just unbelievable. Dragon SpaceX, separation confirmed. Their 19-hour journey home began Saturday night, more than 260 miles above South Africa. Crew Dragon's fiery plummet into Earth's atmosphere reached temperatures of around 3,500 degrees, blocking out communications for about six minutes. In mission control, SpaceX founder Elon Musk, front row center, waited anxiously to hear from the crew. Dragon SpaceX comm check. Never had you loud and clear. Under four giant parachutes, the capsule descended 15 miles per hour, splashing down in the warm Gulf waters. Splash down. Welcome back to planet Earth, and thanks for flying SpaceX. Thank hey God. You know, you know, I'm not very religious, but I prayed for this one. Good evening, the last of the Apollos. Not since 1975 have American astronauts returned to Earth with a water landing. Right on time and just about right on target. But Apollo splashdowns never looked like this. And you are seeing a few more boats than expected. More than a dozen recreational boaters swarm the capsule, ignoring Coast Guard warnings as crews tried to recover it and the astronauts inside. Uh, something like this just really can endanger the whole thing. NASA Administrator Jim Bridenstine. Yeah, so that, that was uh, not what we were anticipating. The boats just made a beeline for it. There are things that we're going to look at that we can do better next time for sure. Dragon looked like a giant charred marshmallow as it was hoisted aboard a SpaceX recovery ship. Bankin and Hurley were pulled from the hatch. All okay. Before their launch in May, we talked to them both about the mission. It will open a new era, commercial space flight. Does it mean something to you guys in this new age to be the first? After you come back and it's successful, you know, Bob and I can go hang out someplace and have a beer and, and, and maybe then we can reflect on, you know, all those things. Now, after nine years of relying on the Russians, America is back in the business of launching and landing astronauts. It took years to get here. We brought the capability back to America and we came home safely to our families. Time for that beer Hurley talked about. We could all toast to that. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Atlanta.